alpha to y is for pedo yesu, in the tato aina, in a basic for lava, so say tassio no mafayo no mawa mai, a lene fa salalonga, tato tato, on a tato fa no longo le for the two a lene tayao. Father, we continue to bless your name because it's so wonderful. Um, your word says uh, that it's a good and wonderful thing that the brothers can come together in unity, Lord. And as we come together, we come to give you glory and honor because your name is worthy of all our praise. And Lord, we commit to you this time uh, in your word. We thank you that your word teaches us, it reproves us, it um, prepares us for every good work that you have um, prepared for us, Lord Father God, before time has begun. So we give you glory, Lord, for this time. Uh, we commit to you the beginning of this uh, sermon, uh, right through to the end, and all the glory belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ole tatu mata upu ile ni yaso ole faawa wina lea ole mata upu school maleiva. So we are continuing with uh, chapter 19. Um, and this morning we will be looking specifically at the final parts of the trial before Pilate. Ole tayao le nei, ole atato mata mata ile fai unga, bo ole fai wina ole aotu wa iesu ile famasi nonga iluma. O pilato, uh, le vayaso na te anei na tato tilo tilo uh, ile aotu wa Yesu ile famasi no nga iluma o pilato. Ua tato i loa ma malama lama ua iai tato ile vaitaimi o le vaveao. O le vaveao lea o le aso e faasa tauro inai Yesu. So the day that we are in is the early mornings or the early hours of the morning of the day in which Jesus will die. This day is known in the time of the Passover as the preparation of the Passover day. Our pharmacy no ina e kayafa, our pharmacy no ina iluma ole malu malu, e osita la masili, ya ma fariseo, ma faipule. What te atu le pharmacy no nga ia iluma o yuta ya, at what two years so iluma o le pharmacy no nga oroma. So Jesus has already faced. In the early hours of this morning, in chapter 18, the trials before the Jews. So he faced a trial before Annas, who was known as the high priest or the patriarchal high priest. He's, now, he's passed the trial before Caiaphas, who was the current high priest when Jesus was crucified. And also before the Sanhedrin and all the high priests and the Jews at the time. But he now stands before Pilate. So chapter 19, he is standing before Pilate. He has passed the three Jewish trials. But he's now facing the last of the three Gentile trials. And this one, he's standing before Pilate. So if so Jesus stands before Pilate, and last week we heard that Pilate, we heard Pilate's failed attempts at trying to set Jesus free. Uh, the first failed attempt we see at the end of chapter 18 when Pilate says to the Jewish people and to the high priest, um, according to your traditions, I can release someone to you. In his mind, he thought that they would call for Jesus' release. But instead, the people called for Barabbas. 
And Barabbas was guilty of being a robber. Another failed attempt from Pilate last week, we heard that he brought Jesus before the crowd after he had beaten him, after he had placed a crown of thorns, after he had put on a, a robe to mock him as the king of the Jews, he presents Jesus before the Jewish people, thinking that they would say, oh yeah, we can release him now. But rather than hearing to release Jesus, the crowd cry out in verse 6, crucify him, crucify him. So, olo yai tato ile mata upwe se fulu maleiva ile tayao le nei, so we're now going to look at the, the ending of this trial because this is Jesus still standing before Pilate. So, So we will look at three parts of our sermon this morning. Part one, Pilate is marveled at the fact that Jesus stands there silently. And we're going to have a look at that. Number two, um, Jesus responds and he says, there is one who has greater sin. So we'll also have a look at what does that mean when Jesus responds in such a way. And finally, we see Pilate give in to the will of the people. And we want to have a look at that as well. So praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, so today we're going to look at uh, verses 9 through to 16. Man, he pe a fa mul mole in a yeta to mata mata i le ba enga muli muli o le fa masino ina o Yesu. Fa ipo iba ona toe ulu i ya ona toe ulu atulea o iya i le maota o le ali o fa imai ya Yesu se fe e o e. A o Yesu, ele itali atu lava yatea. Ono fa pea mai lea o pilato yatea. E te lenga ngana mai ea yatea. Bo ua e le iloa o yatea u le pule e fa asa tauro yate oe. O yatea u fo i le pule e te tala yate oe. O tali atu Yesu, ele aisa u pule yatea. Ana le tu ina mai yate oe mai nunga. O le mea lea e te le ai lona lea ha, na ia tui na mai iau ia te oe. Talu wai ona sa ili e pi ilato e te tala ia te ia, a ua alalanga i uteia ua fa a pea atu. A fai e te te tala ina le na atangata, e te le alofa ia kaisara. O se e fi a fai matupu e fou o ia ia kaisara. 
Ua faalu mo atu pi lato ile a upu Ona ta ita ile e ia ya Yesu i fafo Ua nofo fo i o ia ile nofoa fa amasino ile mea e takua O le bai bai a o le upu pe e peru o ka pata O le aso o le sao ninga o le pa seka le aso O lona itu wa so fo i pe e ono Ua fai mai o ia ya yutaia Fa'auta i lo o tou tupu, a ua ala langa i la tou, ave e seia, ave e seia, nga fa'a sa tauro ya teia. Ua fa'a pea mai pi i la tou ya te i la tou, o te fa'a sa tauro ea i lo o tou tupu, ua tali atu le awo si tau langa ya teia, e le hai so ma tou tupu, na o kaisara. Ona ia tuku mina atu lea o ia ia te ila to ina ia faasa ta roina. Can we read verse 9 in English please? Ia. Okay. <laughs> We've got different versions. Okay, cool. Um, so verse 9, and went again into the praetorium. And said to Jesus, where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Uh, this morning, uh, I want to start off with verse 9. Uh, and this is a continuation from last week. So Jesus, imagine Jesus is standing before um, the Jews. And the Jews, uh, Pilate says last week, um, behold the man. Remember we finished off at that verse last week. And they yell out to him and say, crucify him, crucify him. And in verse 7 they say, we have a law and according to our law, he should die. Because he made himself the son of God. And we remember last week at the end, because in verse 8 it says that Pilate heard what they said and he was more afraid. Oia te i mātou le tū lā whono e tūsa whoi i lā mātou tū lā whono ona i a oti oia a wā ua whai oia e ia māano o le atua. Fa mai ona whaalongo le o pi lato ia upu e fa mai wā ati li ai lona matau. Pa wā ati li ai lona fefe. I le tai aule nei le manatu mua mua o le manatu whaapea ua matu wā ofo pi lato. So the first part of our sermon this morning, we're looking at Pilate, Pilate is marveled greatly because of a response from Jesus. So Jesus is standing there. Pilate hears from the crowd that they have a law that this man should die because of blasphemy. Because he has called himself the son of God. We've now established that he was actually in fact telling the truth. He was the Son of God. But it says there in verse 8 that Pilate was therefore more afraid. The question is, why? Oi. So we now imagine Jesus was out, he's more afraid, Pilate's more afraid, he brings Jesus back in and he asks him a question, where are you from? He's asking the question, where are you from? But at the same time, we know from verse 8 that he was more afraid. 
to explain this fear that he had in a ia malama lama tato ile mafua anga o le matau o pilato it's a tau on a tato ilo o pilato ele o se tangata yutea o ia o le tangata roma o ia o le tangata e yai fo ia lato tu ma lato talitonuma o le tu ma le talitonuma o le tangata roma Po le tangata fo i e leni i lea vaenga o le lalolangi i lea vaitaini. Fa mai e yei la lato tala tuu i le tino mai o a lato watua i tino o tangata. So to understand why Pilate was afraid, when the people said this man was calling himself the son of God, Pilate hears that statement and then he is afraid. He brings Jesus back into the praetorium and asks him, where are you from? We have to understand that Pilate is a Roman citizen. He's an individual. But in Roman traditions, they have myths and their own stories and their mythologies about their own gods. In that part of the world, uh, you have the Romans, you have the Greeks who believe in their own uh, myths and their own gods. So when Pilate hears that the Jews are saying that this guy was calling himself the son of God, he begins to have this fear in him. Because as a Roman, they actually believe that people turn from gods into humans. Without realizing that he's actually before the God who created the heaven and the earth. But he asks this question. So the reason why that he is fearful... Because he believes from his own traditions. Ah, ole mafu anga ole matau o pilato ilera taimi ole taiao ona ole tangata le o la fafia ngai lo la fafisa ngai ole moli anga o fafia mai o ia o ia ole ole halo ole tua ole tangata roma itali tonu i me fafia ah fafia fia ole tatu i loa if am if am a wina le tat if am a tu wina le tato ma wi le tu si le anga lu wenga se fulu ma le fa. Ile tu si le na o lo yai pa nafa ma Paulo a o yai la o ai luka luka o nia a fa mai fa i pusu ma tasi ma fa i pusu full ma le dua o ai lo fo i le moto o tangata le mea o faia e Paulo o na ala langa le i le nganga na a dua ko nia o fa pe ane o afio i fo a tua i a te itato o a pei ni tangata. So, o le faa mao nia i le o kupo le atua, o tangata ia i le vai mea le o le lano langi. E tali tonu i mea faa pea, ah. Fa mai o faa i mo atu i a te i latou, i a pa napa o seu, a o paulo, o he reme ia, a wa o ia o le autu o upu. So, o lo o faa mao nia le upo le atua, e i a i tali tonu ma faa pea, peila o faa mao nia i i le le matau po le fefe le a sa i a pi i latou. Mana lilo ya pilato lea o lea no lava lea o lea tua so ifua. In Acts chapter fourteen verse twelve, we see the story of um, uh, Paul and uh, Barnabas. Ah, so in that story, in verse eleven and twelve, um, it says there. Now, when the people saw that what Paul had done, they raised their voices, saying that. Uh, saying in the Lyconian language, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. So here's a confirmation that that region under Roman law, um, gr the Greek people, they all had these traditions and these myths and these stories. And they called, in verse 12 it says, they called Barnabas, they called Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. 13, then the priest of Zeus whom temple was in front of their city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, intending to sacrifice with multitudes. So I just wanted to bring that verse in Acts to confirm to us that in this part of the world, Christianity was foreign, but they were, they were about their myths and their legends and their stories. So Pilate was in that same group of people. O iol of apea ona yaile matau ya pilatu. Na mafu ai le o lona fesili ya Yesu. Se fe e o e a. O lo manatu pilato pe po fe e a. E sa u ai le tangata le a. Ai tatu va ai le tali ya Yesu. O le a le tali ya Yesu fa mai. A o Yesu e le i tali ya tu lava ya te ia. Let's look at Jesus' response. 
He asks, whence are you from? Where are you from? This is Jesus' answer. But Jesus gave him no answer. Even at the time of his uh, trial, even at the time of his death, the Old Testament prophecies were being fulfilled about Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Matthew says that he marveled greatly. Pilate marveled greatly at the fact that Jesus stood there silent. But the Old Testament tells us about Jesus and his time of his trial. Isaiah 53 verse 7 actually confirms and it's fulfilled in Jesus that in verse 7 it says he was oppressed, he was afflicted, but it says there yet he opened not his mouth. As he was standing there silent, he was fulfilling the Old Testament prophecies. Because verse 7 again says that he was led as a, as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. As Pilate asked him a question, where are you from? Jesus stood there silent, but yet in the loudest way, he affirmed and confirmed that he was the son of God. Why? Because he fulfilled the words of Isaiah that were spoken about him all those centuries before. Remember, the whole book of John tells us that all these things are written so that we may believe that he is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. So let us make for you pray that it's our only name. For my pilato, Ya Yesu, se fair air way, Ao Yesu, a lady, Talia to lava, Yatea. Pay for Spulum and Sumatasi, Mawelemanatu Edua. If we can read verse 10 and 11. 10 and 11 in English. Um, we'll ask Michaela to read those two verses for us, please. Here. He refused to speak to me. I said, Don't you realize I have power either to free you or to crucify you? Jesus answered, You would have no power over me <coughs> if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty for greater sin. Second part of our sermon, from verses 10 and 11, um, Jesus actually responds to Pilate's question in verse 10. 
And in this question is quite a powerful statement uh, that will encourage and challenge us all together. In the second part, I have entitled, One with Greater Sin. For my Fesili Ya Pilato, Aotuwe Pilato, Aumatau Pilato, Fesili Sefe Eoe, Leai Setali Yesu. Ona to Fesili Leo Pilato, Mafa Apea, Ilefe Pesefuru, Etelena Nana Mai Ea Yateau, Po Ua Ele Loa, Oi Yateau, Le Pule, Efasa, Tauru Yateau, Oi Yateau, Fo Ile Pule, Etatala, Yate Oi. I upu ya pilato na ye fa apea tuwai, ua ya pilato lava le ma la malamanga o lana lava puli. Ah. So in, in verse 10, Pilate asks the question, he asks three, Are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and power to release you? Pilate understands the power and the authority that he has, but he's limited to that. Ah. E ngata le malo si anga ma le malo ma manga a pilato ilana lava puli. E fa outa le tali a Yesu ona o i tato te mawai le e yai pe o le puli i mea uma lava a. Because behold Jesus' response, we now know how Jesus clearly states in his answer that he knows who holds the whole of authority and power. Let's read. Now, for my life, I was so much as you, Italia Yesu, for my, Otalia to Yesu, Ele I saw Pule Yatia O. Anna lay to win a my Yatia Oe, my Lunga. You law on the Yesu, Le Mea E out my Ele Pule, ah. Fauter and Natali, for my, Ele I saw Pule Yatia O Pilato, Anna lay to win a my Yatia Oe, my Lunga. Pilate talks about authority and power. Jesus responds like this. Pilate, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Ua sila fia epi e e Yesu malana taliatu ya pilato e o o ile tu lama pilato o lo fa nga e le tua ina ya fa atau uinai lona finangalo e pe lava e mana tu eta tu le tala ya farawa le na fa tu eta tu le tani le vi inga le pesi amosi e le tani tani ina mai le nuwa le tua mai ai kupito i le le my ekupito a nga i i le nu wa folo folo ina a a nga i kanana o le fina nga lo a tua o le tua na fa savali a le pol kalame le na you know when and when Jesus was answering back to Pilate and says you have no power at all against me unless it had been given to you Jesus here is talking specifically about the sovereignty of the power of God and we remember God's sovereignty from the beginning of time. And right through to when God had brought the people of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land. Because we read that in Exodus. Ah, e soto alo mata o kwe iva. Fai pe suma lima ma fai pe sfuluma leono. Fa ape ai upu aleatua ya farao. O upu ya aleatua ya farao. Fa mai awa o le aha u fa aloa loa nei lo u lima. O te taia oe malou nuu ile fa amai ina ia fano ai oe ile nuu e moni lava o le mea lava lea ua o fa atu ina ai oe ina ia o fa ali lo umana yate oe ma ia ta ua lo ingoa ile lalo langi uma lava. Pe ia no fa atu nuu ina ile atu a ia farau a le fa me ia ile atu a ia farau. O o fa atu wina oe, ina ia o fa ali yai lo umana yate oe. Fa mai le atu e ia farao, ma ia ta ua lo wingoa ile la lo langi umalaba. Le pule le au lo tala noa ma yai le Yesu ile tae au le nei. Le tali atu ai Yesu ya pilato, fa mai e le aisa u pule yate au. Pe ana le tu uina mai yate oe mai lunga. This power and authority that Jesus gives back to Pilate as a response 
He says, you have no power against me unless it had been given you from above. Who is above? God the Father. God who is sovereign. The same God that brought Israel out of Egypt. The same God that we read in the book of Exodus chapter 9, verse 15 and 16. In verse 16, um, God says to Pharaoh, I have raised you up that I may show you my power in you and that my name may be declared in all the earth. That's the same God Amen. that Jesus uses in his response. Amen. 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 Jesus knew that as well. Huh? Jesus knew that even in his death, it was the sovereign will of the Father that he must die. Because Paul uses that in Acts chapter 2, verse 23, when he stands and he, and he gives that great sermon in the birth of the church. And um, Paul says these words in his part of the sermon. He says, him, and he's talking about Jesus. He says, him, Jesus, being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God. Jesus knew that. Jesus knew that God had predetermined his death. God had foreknowledge of his death. It was God's sovereign will that Jesus must die. Why? Because he was the only one that could. He was the perfect, no blemish. He was the only worthy lamb that could die for the sin of whole of mankind. But Peter says, being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by lawless hands and have crucified and put to death. That's the God that Jesus responds with to Pilate. Because Pilate says, do you not know that I have the authority to crucify you and the power to release you? But Pilate only had knowledge of his own power. Which Jesus responds and says, actually you have no power at all against me if it was not given to you from above. So the question is, because it says there in verse 10, he says, after he responds back to Pilate and says, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Then the second part of response, he says, therefore the one who delivered me to you has greater sin. The question, who was it that delivered Jesus to Pilate? The answer is Caiaphas. The answer is all of the priests of the Sanhedrin that wanted him dead. They were the ones that delivered Jesus to Pilate. But he says this to Pilate. He says, therefore the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Jesus 
Etele ai Rona Leana. What does it mean when Jesus says, Therefore, he who has delivered me to you has the greater sin? Ole famatala ina ole vaina dea. E yei e ese ese vaina ole fasalanga ile teini ole unga. Jesus is now re referencing that there are different degrees of punishment at the end times. Amen? So, ono sa yu maya le la tonga fa yu fatamatala yu na tu a. Na e o i itato te e manino yu le upo le tu a mo itato ina i a mala malama itato e le ai ma se upo e tu ufua i tu tonga le upo le tu a. Na e o lo fa yu maya le um Ya le fai upulea na tato fai tawina i tai ao leni. Fa mai o le mea lea e tele ai lona leana. E maua le fa amau tu wina o le mau lea i upu lava Yesu i le tusia maa teio. I na ua fa amatala e Yesu a o fa fea ngai Yesu uma le lea talitomu o tangata yu teia. Fa mai e lea upu a Yesu i le fai upu e lua se fulu anga i le lua se fuma lfa amane bea so e tato tusi a. As, as we turn our books to the book of Matthew, chapter 11, to, uh, and from 20 to 24, we're going to spend a couple of minutes on this point, because Jesus says, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Now, what does that mean? Jesus is referencing here that there are different degrees of punishment at the end times. So we're going to look back at a few verses that Jesus actually uses to confirm <coughs> and reaffirm this point. Ole fai upu le lua sefulu, fa mai le fai upu lua sefulu, ona fa asai ya tu wai lea o ia i a ai, na fa iai le tele o na vabenga, a wala tou te le i salamo, o i la le talano ma ia Yesu, i le le talitomu o tangata yutaya, lua sumatasi, Oita alofa ya te oe kwa asimi, oita alofa ya te oe pete saita, awa anafaya ituro masaitonu o vaavena nafaya yate oto, po ua leba ona la tou salamo ile ie talatala male lefu lefu. Lua siku male lua, o lea o te fai yatu wai yate oto, e feo lolo turo masaitonu, ile aso fa amasino, Yate o tou, lua suma tolu, o oe foi i kapa na umi, ua faaea ina e oho i le langi, e lafo tu wina oe i lalo lava i se eoli, a wā ana faia i so toma, o vā venga na faia yate oe, po ua tu mawia ua oho i nei ona po, o lea foi, o te faia tu wai yate o tou, E feo lolo le nuu o so toma i le aso fa amasino ya te oe. O i a tato mata mata i fai upu ia, o lo tala noa mai Yesu i le fa asalanga e o i le le tali tonu. A i a tato mata mata i nuu o lo o fa afea ngai i le fai upu ia o lo o tala noa mai Yesu e i lo o me tato o so toma a. A le fai mai Yesu. Fa mai o oe kapana umi, o fa ea ina o le langi e lafo tu wina o i lalo i se oli, a wa ana faia i so o toma o vaa venga na faia i ati oe po ua tu mawia uo o i nei ona po. Lua suma fa, o lea o te fai i atu i ati o to, e feo lolo le nu o so o toma, i le aso fa amasino i ati oe. O i tato te maua mai ea i le fa amatala i na o faasalanga, ile ese ese o vaenga o faasalanga. Ile aso ma le teini o le unga, e yei le faasalanga e o yaso o toma. Ai ono le nua le atu e lo latou le tali tonu, e sili atu lo latou faasalanga. Ah, tau maua mai, ah. So in the book of Matthew, we read here that Jesus explains the degrees of punishment that one will received, especially towards his own people, because of their unbelief. Uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 20 to 24, um, and I'm just going to summarize here, because Jesus compares his people to some of the other nations that surround them. But he says to them, if these Gentile nations were to repent, 
they would be saved. But he says in verse 22, um, But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. 23. Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. Remember, Hades is another name for hell. For if the mighty works were done in you, had been done in Sodom. Remember, Sodom, way back in the book of Genesis, was the most evil nation there was on the face of the earth, and God wiped them out. But he says here, Jesus is saying here, if the mighty works were done in you, had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. And so to explain this, it's just to help us understand, is that Jesus responds to Pilate and says, He who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Even though Pilate had no idea who Jesus was until he came before him, he had not heard of Jesus and his miracles or the stories of Jesus, Pilate was still guilty because he had given a guilty verdict to an innocent man. But the Jews and Caiaphas and the leaders of the day will suffer greater guilt. Therefore, they have a greater degree of punishment in the end times because they had put Jesus to death. So they'll all suffer. But we now understand from the word of God that there are different degrees of punishment. Amen? Amen. Ah. Let's flip our books to Hebrews. So we're going to look at Hebrews 10 because here the writer of Hebrews also talks to us as those who have heard, those who have knowledge. Ah. Because at the same time, we claim, everyone claims to be a believer. Everyone can say they are a Christian. But a true Christian is one on the inside. Praise God. Amen. And the Hebrew writer talks about those who have the knowledge. These are the ones that have heard but decide not to believe. Ah. So there's a punishment story that talks about it here. Let's read verse uh, 26 through the 30... Actually, um, 26 to 29. Uh, if we can read that, please. Uh, all of those with the NIV translation. For if... Uh, e, yeah? Yeah, I just want to read that verse 29 again now. Of how much worse of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing, and insulted the spirit of grace? This is the person that has received the knowledge of truth. Ah. Benyafa o to ile sili ole mamafa ole tawi 
etau tsa tsa wina ai le wa soli le ano le atua ma wa tsa u le pa ia ina e ia le toto o le te anga na fa pa ia ina ai o ia ma ua upu le anga ile anga o le alofa tu noa le au sole ni tsa yao e ao ona tsa tsa wina a e ia ile fa salanga a e tsa li tsolo uma i tsa tsa e ia ile manuia e fa ava bau mo ila tsa uma o e tsa li tsolo ma fa atua tua ile suwafa o le ali o Yesu Kristo ai nei ngalo ya te itato e yai fo i le fa asalama amen um brothers and sisters this morning that that we remember that you know when hebrew talks about that those who have received the knowledge of truth but no longer then there's no longer a sacrifice that remains if they turn away if they do not believe And that's what Jesus is talking about here to Pilate. He said to Pilate that the one who delivered me to you Pilate has the greater sin. Hey. He said this, Pilate you sinned. But the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Therefore, you will be punished Pilate for your guilt, but the one who delivered me to you will receive a greater punishment because they have delivered me to you. Ha. Huh. Ole upole atua ole belu e fatau ma ai i tua. Ina ia mala malama i tato ile loloto o upu a Yesu. A o fai mai a Yesu ile nei taiao fa mai la natali e le ai sau pule i te au ana le tu ina mai i te o e mai lunga ole mele e te le ai lona le anga na i a tu ina mai a u i te o e. A fa mai Yesu uso mo tua fafine. E yei le ala baapi api. E yei le fai to toa baapi api. E toa i titi fo i la to e uia. But we must remember that there is a narrow gate. That there is a narrow path. And only a few will be able to tread that path unto eternal life. But wide is the gate. Wide is the path. And many will tread that path. But unto destruction. Amen. Amen. So, e e e e e e money lava le upole tua. A utu wa Yesu iluma pila tua. Ma fa pe atu ya pila tu ele ai sa upule pe anale mai lunga. Ole me ele tele ai lona le anga na ya tu ina mai ya u ya te oi. Ba inga muli muli ta tu mta upule ni taya e mawa ifa ipu muli muli na e lima. 12 to 16 will be our final part of our sermon this morning. Ile ba ina le muli muli. O lo ta ma fai pila to. Ai to ilalo o ya ile fi na o ta ma ta yuta ya. In these last five verses, Pilate goes through um three uh almost three ways of trying to convince the people <coughs> about Jesus and trying to set him free. So right to the end of the trial, he's still trying But at the end he's convinced by the people and because of him trying to please the people he still sends Jesus to death. Let us read. Bai no mo mo fa ipo esuma le lua fa mai ale upu a pilato. Talu wai ona sa ile pilato e tatala ya teia. O le tsama fai no mo mo ale ile fa ingo o le fam sinonga a fa mai le upo le tua. Taluai ona sa ilia pilato e tatala ya teia. Ale ale tali mai o tangata. Fa mai. A ua ala langa i utaia. Ua fa ape atu. A fai e te tatala ina le na tangata. E te le a lofa ya kaisara. O sefia fai matupu. E fo o ia ya kaisara. In the first attempt, again, at the end of the trial, he's trying again. He says in verse 12, Um, and I'm just going to quickly read verse 12 for us, and it says there, "From then on, Pilate sought to release him." So here, Pilate is giving another attempt to try and release Jesus. But how do they respond? They actually respond by threatening him, because they say, "You could." Um, it says, "If you let this man go, this is the crowd. You are not Caesar's friend. Whoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar." Remember Caesar is the emperor of the whole of the Roman Empire. 
Pilate is uh, the leader of, or the governor of Judea, of that region where Jesus was being trialed. Uh, o, o Kaisara o ia o le taitai o Roma atoa. O Pilato o ia o le faipule o lena wa aia iu teia i lea vai teini, ma faia le faiunga i le faama sinunga a Iesu. A le tali e tangata ua lato o tali ne ia faama tau ia Pilato e tau o ia ia Kaisara. So they threatened him. Ah. So this is the first retaliation at the end of the trial. Second one, fai pesuma tolu. Ua fa alongo atu pi lato i lea upu o na ta i ta ia i lea e ia ia Iesu i fafo ua nofo o ia i le nofoa fa masino i le mea e ta ua o le pae pae a o le upu e peru o ka apata. I le fai upu le a tato te va ai ai i le fa a le tusi a Ioane le apostolo i ana upu fa mai fa alongo pi lato i lea upu a fa ma ta u mai u te ia e ta u o ia ia kaisara Fa mai ona tai tai lea e ia ia Iesu i fafo. Fa mai ua nofo foi o ia i le nofoa faamasino. So se faamasino nga lava e nofo loa le tangata i le nofoa lea o nofoa faamasino. Ona i loa lea uo o i le taini e lau wai le unga. So in verse 13 we see that as soon as he was threatened by the Jews. It says in verse 13 that Pilate therefore... Heard that saying, he brought Jesus out and sat down in the judgment seat. This seat is the bema seat, if you've heard of the bema seat before. Um, and it says that whenever a trial is coming towards the end, as soon as the judge sits on the seat, then they know the verdict is about to be announced. So this is how we first know that Pilate is starting to give in to the threats. From the people are wa mata ona mo watu peto ilalo watu pilato ilefi na watangata. Verse fourteen. Fa ipo suma fa ole aso le sao ningol pa seka le aso olona itu aso foi peono lona winga tato te iloi le uti uti ole te mi na fa tino inai uma nei fa masinonga ha ole te mi la ole te ya ole fa to awai ole iva le te ya ole fa to atau I will make the baby out and I let him live. And if it was so, I I let that to fall out and never find me no more. Ah, and for me, what I let you ask me, I know. Or the sound of the past, the past, the past. Oh, if I may be let to you, you tell me, far out, you know, or to to pull. Or let you in a tool or say I have no ah. I'll let you tell me your thoughts. If you push me, I'm a ua ala langa ilato. Ave eseya, ave eseya, ina faasa tauru yateya. They move um, from being th uh, from threatening Pilate, and they and then Pilate presents Jesus in verse fourteen, and he says, "Behold, your king." What's their response? They move from threatening to just literally just murder him, uh, just kill him, because they say in fifteen, but they cried out, "Away with him! Away with him!" Crucify him. That's how much hatred that they had for Jesus. They moved from threatening Pilate and they moved into just kill Jesus. That's all we want. Um, uh, Ita ile faola. Famele tama fenga lo na tolu a pilato ile a lava fam sinonga. Famai pilato o te faasa tauro ea ilo tupu. Pilate then gives another final attempt. He says in verse uh, in verse fifteen, "Shall I crucify your king?" And he's not saying this out of respect for Jesus. He's mocking Jesus again. "Shall I crucify your king?" This is what your king looks like. Bruised, bleeding, crown of thorns. It was a mockery for Pilate to call Jesus their king. And he says, shall I crucify your king? Another attempt. Mm -hmm. 
sala le tangata ami o tonu. A fa maile fesili api lato. O te fa asata ro ea ilo o tau tupu. A fa maile tali e tangata. Fa maile tali e tangata. E le ai so ma tau tupu na o kai sara. O i ta tau te ilo ai. Wali liu ese tangata. Mai no lato wa tua. Mai le tua moni e tua tasi. A fa sanga i le tua po le tupu. O lo lato u. O tangata la tau te feita i ai. Mana tua. O lalo le pule anga aroma. O le o lo fa atali tali i sara elu ma tangata yuta. Ye so lato u fa aula. Ai ono le lato u. Pongi sa mata waso ya Yesu le faola Na lato i leilo ai Na maliu mai le faola Le fa meile ta oku mua mua ale yoane Na maliu mai o ye yona tangata Ae na te ena Na maliu mai le mala malama i le poli uli Ae te ena i le poli uli Le mala malama O i ta to te fa aye le fa ata unu ino le upuna Ina ua fa pe atu yu ta ya Ele ai sa matau tupu na o kaisara. Here in the final response of retaliation from the people, from the Jews, Pilate presents and says, Shall I crucify your king? And this is the ultimate turning away, the ultimate turning away of the people from Jesus, from God, when they say, We have no king but Caesar. They've chosen to turn their back on the king of kings and make the enemy their king. Because Caesar was the enemy of Israel. They were under the power of Rome. They were under the power of Caesar. And they hated Caesar. But they lived under their law. But their hatred for Jesus was so much greater that they will eventually say, we have no other king but Caesar. Ultimate offense to our God. But the Jews knew, knew no other. This is when we see Pilate gives in to the will of the people. Because then in verse 16, Ona tu uina atu lea o ia ia te ilato ina ia faasa tauruina. He then gives in in verse 16. And says, then he delivered him to them to be crucified. This is the end of the trial of Jesus before Pilate. And at the same time, he, Pilate gives in to the people and hands them over. In the book of Matthew, it actually has Pilate washing his hand. And he says that I am clean of the blood of this man. But he isn't. He will be judged in the end. Ultimate judgment of the white throne. Ah, for me, oh, he pilato in the the two sea matter. You for me, mama, oh, my little toe, my little nata. I let the water to you. Oh, oh, for atali, oh, for salang, oh, pilato. Ah, the time you lay unga, the time you le 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 farm si nonga or le no foa si na si ma. And this brings us to the end of Jesus' trials. But I wanted to finish off with the verse that I used during our sermon. Fear for we na love la unga. Nenita, <laughs> I feel my Yesu, if I tell you the faith to Toa, if I tell you the Allah, to a tell you for ye, a we are the Allah there, it's a what to ill my life. If I'm a lossy, if I'm a living on the Lord, if I'm a piapi the faith to Toa, a lawi titi the Allah, it's a what to ill the Ola, it's a titi for Ila to we bawa. To finish us off, the words of Jesus in the book of Matthew. Here he's encouraging the believers. And this is an encouragement for us. As we hear what Jesus went through, as he talks to us about the different degrees of punishment, as the word challenges you today about the trial of Christ, about 
the man called Pilate about the Jews and Caiaphas and those who put Jesus before his trial. But the words of Jesus ring true this morning, that wide is the gate, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many who go by it. But narrow is the gate, difficult is the way which leads to life, and only a few will find it. May those words encourage you this week. May those words keep you this week. May the trials of Jesus as he stood there before Pilate remind you that he took on all the shame. He took on all the pain for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shall we stand? And we'll finish off in prayer this morning. Praise God. Big stretch. Maloli on a And tato tato. Um, tu inatu lo loto ile ali um, ina ia fa pia ona tato fa fetaia o ia ona lo na lo fa ia te tato mole upu o tato pa no no mo ile ni taiao tato tato fa fetai te le te ma o fa alongo ila upu o fa ma lo si mai o fa ma natu mai ya te au I lo o langa, au auna, yate oi. Fa fetai tele, ona o le fa amanatu, ma le fa amalosi, ina ia o, tu mau, ma ia o, 